how frustrated to, to look up and see the scoreboard as it is tonight? Um, I think we bowled pretty well in parts. I didn't think we were as consistent as we wanted to be throughout the entire day. We had partnerships and spells where we were exactly how we wanted to. And yeah, it's pretty frustrating to look up at the scoreboard and see the position we're in now. Probably if we batted better on the first day, we may not have been in this position, but that's all in the past and we just have to move forward with it. Can you tell us how the uh, how the mood is in, in the dressing room when, when you see wickets tumble like that after you've after spent 90 overs working pretty hard? Yeah, obviously it will be disappointment around, you know, just came out the field, we toiled hard and we were positive going into bat because it's still a pretty good wicket, so obviously a bit of disappointment around. In terms of uh, your, your own bowling, you're bowling at a, at a New England player, you have a pretty inexperienced top order yourself, but, but Jamie Smith is a, a newcomer. How did you enjoy that battle with him? Yeah, that was good. You know, um, He's obviously young, confident. He plays shots just like any young batsman coming through England set up right now. So it was a good challenge for all of us and well played to him, I guess. But yeah. Were there signs today that you guys will be competitive and stay competitive in this series, whether it be the run out, the, the couple of wickets for Moti, the way you bowled, do you think there's positives there to, to hold on to? Yeah, there's always positives when you get a team bowl out, especially 371, you'll take that any day in a test match, it just, as I said, our runs in the first innings wasn't enough, so I think this is probably just a stepping stone for us heading into the other test matches and just for us to build on and improve. Thank you. Can I just ask your take on that run out and the, the team celebration? You obviously had quite a good view. It was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. and I don't think he was expecting it either. And we all we enjoyed it pretty much. Yeah. Am I right? He ran over and celebrated with his brother, Jeremiah. Yeah, that's his brother, yeah. Is there, is there, do you know if it's sort of in joke or something? That they the, celebration is, the celebration was taken from his brother. So that's why he ran to him, yeah. Uh, well, bold. Uh, would it? Would you encourage everyone in your team to try and get a stint playing county or even club cricket in England? Uh, and do you think that you could have done with an extra week or game or two uh, heading into the series? Um, I mean, it's everyone's own decision whether they come to play county cricket or not. Can't force guys. I mean, as if the opportunity arises for them. And in, in terms of the preparation, I think we had good preparation. Um, not necessarily much time, but in terms of the camp that we had down at Kent, we all trained pretty well. Batsmen were batting well, the bowlers were on. So um, I wouldn't say preparation was the thing that made us underperform per se, it's just it didn't go away this game. Hey Jaden, this is Baram Kazi from Pro Sports. We saw yesterday the West Indian Pacers and yourself included, got some good fortune when you pitched the ball up and were bowling fuller lengths. But today you guys tended to bowl it a bit short and banging it short. So what was the rationale behind that? Um, yesterday we got fortune maybe because the ball was still moving a bit. Yeah. Obviously at the start of the day, beautiful weather, clouds not there, the sun is out, pitch flattened out. So it wasn't really the best thing for us to bowl fuller because it was easy to score and the pitch is still a very good pitch. So our plan was to bowl that back a length, just try and create some pressure and force the English batsmen to do something rash. All right, and just uh, one last question. Do you have an update on Shamar's fitness? He seemed to be you know, in a spot of bother. And how much impact uh, did it, you know, how much did it impact West Indies losing him midway? I'm not sure about his fitness right now. The physio will deal with it. Hopefully he pulls up well tomorrow. In terms of the impact, yeah, obviously losing a bowler throughout or during the test matches a big thing, especially him being such a big bowler for us and you know what he can do. So yeah, it did probably just put us in a spot of bother missing that extra pace bowler during the innings, but it's already gone. We can't do anything about it, so we just have to take it on the chin and move on. Thank you. Hey, can I just check, did the players in, intend to form a guard of honour for Jimmy Anderson when he came out of bat? By the time that you all caught up with Mikhail in celebration and quite liked it, you were all halfway to Swiss Cottage and he was halfway, <laughs> halfway up to back. Is, is that how it panned out? Because Jason managed to get across and yeah. his hand. But we intended to give him a guard of honour. Yeah, we spoke about it before he came out about that we were going to give him a guard of honour. And then obviously the run out took us all the way down to Swiss Cottage, as you said. <laughs> so it was pretty hard. It was pretty hard to get him to get the guard of honour for the great man. But yeah. <laughs>